Okay, so next up we have the IOTA form test for experiment 20. And for this particular test, we are looking for a methyl ketone uh, to react with some sodium hydroxide, iodine, and we will form a triiodo ketone if we do have a methyl group. Eventually, we will add, uh, we will uh, turn that ketone into a carboxylate and form uh, the iota form molecule, which is a yellow precipitate. All right, so I have uh, six test tubes here labeled, and uh, to each of my test tubes here, I have half a milliliter of water, uh, except in the case of benzaldehyde and acetophenone, I used one, two, dye, ethoxyethane, and uh, the reason for that is because I know these two compounds have trouble dissolving in water. I'm going to go ahead and add two drops of sample to my test tubes, and then I will add a uh, sodium hydroxide solution. All right, so uh, what we discovered in the uh, pause here is that both heptanol and pentanone also required us to use the alternative solvent uh, one to dimethoxyethane. So uh, we went ahead and swapped the solvent for uh, the, the water solvent for the other. Uh, next up, we're going to add 2.5 uh, molar sodium hydroxide. This is the same as 10% sodium hydroxide. And for each of these samples, we're going to add half a milliliter. Not dip this back in there because I don't want to leak out iodine solution. So uh, next up, we are going to add 0.25 milliliters of iodine solution. And to be exact, I'm going to go ahead and remove the dropper portion. And we're going to go ahead and take a look and see if we find a little bit of yellow precipitate. So for this solution, here we went only 0.25. We're going to start off with acetone here. Right. I'm going to ask Lee to bring the camera a little closer so you can see. Uh, if we're forming precipitate or not. So for the acetone sample, it looks like we're developing something. Next up, we have heptanol. Next, we'll go to benzaldehyde. Pentanone. Two propanol. And lastly, acetophenone. Let me close up my iodine solution and we'll give each of them a little shake, see if we can entice them to become precipitate or not. And uh, so for heptin out here, it looks like it's all clearing up and I don't see any precipitate. For acetone, we definitely have some very yellow precipitate forming in the test tube. Benzaldehyde, which is an aldehyde, is uh, not really reacting here. The solution is yellow, but we have no precipitate forming. Okay. Three pentanone. And it looks like this is a no go, so negative for three pentanone. 2-propanol is showing a positive test. Now, 2-propanol is a secondary alcohol, and it's also known as a methyl carbonyl, where the uh, carbon that bonds to the alcohol group has a methyl group to one side. So it also forms a precipitate in the iodoform solution. And lastly here, we have acetophenone. And acetophenone, seems to be too hindered to form precipitate here. Although we are forming somewhat of a yellow layer up top, but uh, it is similar to 
three pentanone and that we get just basically a two layer system here. I'm going to shake it one more time, see if we get any precipitation to form. And it looks like we have just some oily solution up top uh, with this particular compound. Okay, so just to reiterate, our two um, positive samples for the iodoform test are for sure acetone and 2-propanol. All the other samples did not produce precipitate. This has been the iodoform test for experiment 20. So students, check, check this out. We redid the acetophenone sample using water as the solvent instead. And although acetophenone doesn't dissolve very well in water, what you can notice here is that we are definitely developing the yellow precipitate when water is used as the solvent versus the 1,2-dimethoxyethane. Uh, so I will put the two samples next to each other here. And on the left is the water dissolved sample. On the right hand side is the 1,2-dimethoxymethane or ethane, excuse me. And so uh, what Lee is speculating is that the addition of the water is helping with the formation of the enol or enolate. And in the case of the 1,2-dimethoxyethane, uh, uh, we don't get any assistance for formation of the enolate. And that's why we do get precipitate when the solvent is water. Uh, we anticipate that we should get a um, positive reaction here since acetophenone is a methyl ketone. All right, this is the final conclusion to iodoform test.